Hello and what is going on today guys, Tomcat here and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 where today we are going to be looking at the Logitech G car pack. Now right here we can see right like on the menu we've got the AMG G uh, GTR and then we've got the uh, the new Bentley which is, is absolutely ridiculous. Now you guys will be able to see here the Bentley uh, EXP exp 10 speed 6 concept i don't know why that car like i don't know why i have an issue saying its name it's weird um the holden hsv gtsr the jaguar f pace s mercedes amg gtr the morgan three-wheeler 65 gto and the mark 3 supra so the uh supra two liter gt twin turbo so really interesting lineup of cars i mean they covered a really wide range of everything from well, muscle cars to uh, tuner cars to strange stuff like the Morgan three-wheeler to um, stuff like the F-Pace. There's a really cool lineup of cars. I'm going to go ahead and jump straight into the Morgan three-wheeler because the Morgan three-wheeler is like... It's just it's just cool. Um, it's just one of those cars that's like really really cool, and I cannot wait to, um, to have a go at driving it. So let's... God, I'm trying to find a color that works. I mean, this, this green is just so classic it's like but at the same time i don't know it looks cool in orange it looks cool in orange and honestly like it'll be a little bit different than um than your normal approach to a morgan three-wheeler anyway so I'm, I'm 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 down to go with that i mean that seems cool to me so at this point i think what i'm gonna do first is i'm gonna drive it around a little bit and i'll see what i can do to it you know tuning wise first i'm not going to actually build it or anything but we're going to see right off the bat what it can do um if we click explode the only thing that opens is the trunk which there's nothing in um and not really space for anything because that's where the the rear wheel has to go the single rear wheel now if we go to the garage and go to upgrades we can do a whole host of things you could fully build it out if you want um in the conversion area we do have engine swaps we can swap it over to a um very high revving super bike engine basically um which we may do a build of that later on but this as it is right now uh seems i, I want to drive it stock i want to drive it stock just to see how it drives and then after that we can go crazy it's not like we have to go crazy right off the bat and i've done that with some other cars before and you guys have kind of got oh my god he looks like he's like like trying to trying to like scrunch his entire body up to fit in the thing god every time you let off well almost every time it pops flames that's amazing <laughs> this is a stock power look at this that's amazing that is awesome <laughs> this is third gear, guys. That... That rear... Oh, my God. That rear wheel! It's just... Dude, oh, my God! That's amazing. And keep in mind, this is only with, like, I think, 80 horsepower. So, can you imagine this with more power i mean first of all it wouldn't be able to put any of it down and two it would like it would be the scariest thing to drive let's have some interior yes that is so awesome oh hello jeep guy <laughs> now honestly i think what i would like to do is actually i kind of want to do some races but at the same time i also want to do ow thank you hi New legendary barn find rumor. Where are we looking? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what. Let's go and grab that real quick. Um, let's go and actually. Well, let's build this thing to like max. Now that we know what it drives like stock. In fact, I just want to do a launch and see if it just blows it all blows the tires off in first gear or if it actually can, you know. Spins through second, and chirps third. And I said blows the tires off. I meant tire. All right, now we gotta get into the festival. We missed the festival. That's embarrassing. I don't think I've ever actually missed the festival before. 
There's another Morgan three-wheeler driving around up there. What's up, buddy? All right, we're gonna make this thing wild, crazy, and intense. And back it in. <laughs> That's awesome. This thing is so much fun to drive. Even in stock form, it's fun to drive. It's like, it's so crazy because you don't even think that something with this little power will be this much fun. But it is. All right, let's see. Upgrades, custom upgrade. Uh, let's see. Engine. Well, you know what? We're going to go. We're, yeah, we're going to do the. Oh, my God. Okay, this is going to be ridiculous now. You can do a splitter. What about a wing? <laughs> yeah, but we're not going to do either of those things. They don't really apply. I mean, I guess they do, but not really. All right, race tire time. Race tires and um, upgraded width. Um, okay, hold on. Wait, can we not upgrade the width? Oh, no. That's bad. Um, and bad in the sense that... We won't have any traction. Even on these race tires, I mean, they'll help a little, but they're not going to help that much. Race suspension. Race weight reduction. How much does it weigh now? Oh, 1,196 pounds. Yeah. Yeah. About, la about that 1,196 pound life. Oh, my God. Single turbo. Race turbo. Race intercooler, that puts a 292 horsepower and 171 pound-feet of torque at 1,282 pounds. So, in theory, this, well, not in theory, in reality, this thing is now a bit of a death trap. It's the death trap Morgan three-wheeler single turbo superbike swap. Um, and now at this point, we're going to go ahead and head off to find that legendary barn find, see what it is, and um, have a really, really really good time along the way because I'm, I'm pretty sure that that's what this is going to be like. It now revs to 10,500 RPM. So when boost kicks in... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Let's see what we get at wheel spin wise. Could win an M4. Really, that's not, like, not even a great wheel spin. Okay, 50,000, not bad. I'm good with that. Okay. Alright, that's second gear. Third gear. Fourth gear. Well, it wasn't... It doesn't even hit boost until like 7,000 RPM. It's staying on the ground. Hi. Hi, hi, hi. Yes, good to see you too. Okay, we need a route to here. No, not fast. No. Yes, set. Thank you. Okay. God, when boost kicks in, it is... Wait, we're going the wrong way. What the hell? Okay, when boost kicks in, this thing becomes mental. Yeah, it kicks in right at about 6,500, 7,000 RPM. Because below that, you have nothing. Like, literally, if I floor it at, like, like 2,000 RPM, nothing. 3,000, nothing. 4,000, nothing. 5,000, nothing. 6,000. Oh, then there's the boost. It's quick. It's really quick. And the thing is, uh, uh, all that power going to one wheel is a little sketchy. Uh, really sketchy, actually. What am I talking about? Little sketchy. Ooh. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's get it going. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes, there it is. Hello. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> that car even came out of nowhere. It was weird. This thing prefers to live its life above 8,000 RPM. As long as you keep it above 8,000, it's happy. Below that, it gets a little grumpy. Let's try some third-person view. This thing... Oh! Let's 
excuse me. It's really hard to, like, avoid people because... Oh, dear. Oh, God. It's really hard to avoid people because you're, like, not even sure whether or not it's, like... It, it's a... It's a... Uh, uh. Transitions into drifts, though, really damn well. I love it. Responds well to clutch kicks, too. Damn, dude, this thing is fun. Alright, let's find that barn find. Is that it over there? If that's it right there, I'm gonna laugh at how easy that was. Oh my god, that really was easy. Alright, what is it? What have we got? Aha! Snooze, you lose, whoever you are. Ooh! To open her up. Oh, nice, nice. It's a Sunbeam Tiger. This thing has a Ford V8 under the hood, specced by Carol Shelby himself. Bit dusty, rust on the trim, but otherwise it looks pretty good to me. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun once we get our hands on that. Absolutely. But anyways, if you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit that like button. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed.